you are watching Kolsky One. Like, share, and subscribe. Hi, welcome back. You're watching Kolsky One. Today we're going to have a look at the Jumper T18. Just bear with me, let me sort the lights out better. So, this is the Jumper T18. Now, if you remember and you watched the video I did of saying I'm back, that's about one of the first things I was going to view with the Jumper T18, but I bought the light and I'll tell you the reason why. You're probably thinking, that isn't a light you've got in your hand. Well, this is a Jumper T18 standard, not the light. So the reason I ordered the light, and I'll explain that in a minute, is because I already own a T16 with an R9M module on the back. So I had no wish to have an R9M module, and plus the fact the internal antenna was a bit of an issue for me, which is what the T18 has for standard. So I went and bought the T18 light. I also own another T16, which is just a standard, which is just has my backup now, I don't use it at all. So I ordered this from Banggood, because I couldn't get stock in the UK. Terrible focusing issues, sorry about that. So I couldn't get stock in the UK. Let me get my light better. I think that's got it. Yes, yeah, so I couldn't get stock in the UK, so I ordered it from Banggood. So I did my normal, ordered it from Banggood, and they sent me this. Took two weeks longer than it should have done to come, and then I got a T18. I haven't bothered contacting them because I really get nowhere when I do. So I ended up with this, which to me I don't really need because I didn't want an R9MN module, but let's get it anyway. So this one is has the R9MN module built into it. So this is a 5 in 1. The light is the 4 in 1, and this is the 5 in 1. Playing in the top of the screen you're going to see the internals of this thing to show you what it looks like. It has no ribbon connectors anymore and it's much better looking inside. That's not his only features but his biggest selling point is the fact that this has got an R9M. If you've ever used R9M, I'm really having problems with lighting today. Let me see if I can manually that's better. Um, if you've ever used R9M you know it's a complete pain in the backside to use so I didn't want it. I'd have been happy doing something else and I haven't, I'd not, I'm not on Crossfire because I have virtually have some DJI now so I never bothered so hence why I didn't order it but we're going to go through this anyway and like I say it's got no ribbon connectors inside it has a dual switch on the front for turning it on unlike unlike some stuff Alexa's coming unlike some other stuff where you have to press both the buttons to start you don't use any button you want and it will boot welcome to OpenTX and you see it's OpenTX out of the box throttle warning but apart from that, it's very much like a jumper. So, I have my non-DJI stuff on this because I fly DJI. But one of the things I do like about this, I don't, let me see if I can zoom in. But these light up, if you noticed, all these light up now. Tells you what all they all are, and they all light up rather than them just being etched into plastic. They have actually got LEDs behind them. And it's one of the features of the light. Apart from that, everything's pretty much the same. The gimbals feel the same. The nice Hall Effect gimbals, if you buy the Pro version of this, the Pro version has non-Hall Effect gimbals, they are not Hall Effect, they're like what you get in a Fataba, but they're like an in-between hybrid version, but they are not Hall Effect. Um, I prefer these, that's why I didn't go for the, I wouldn't have gone for the Pro no matter what. Also, there's all this stuff coming out saying the Pro had a touch screen, I don't believe it does. Touch screen capability isn't available, it will be in the next version of Betaflight, also it's hooked at 2.4. But at the minute it isn't, none of these have touchscreen. The Radio Master, I believe, has. Let's just pop that there. So why did I buy a jumper and not a Radio Master? So, although a lot of people have had problems with different cases, I've had nothing, no issues whatsoever with mine. The things I have had was a scroll wheel fault on, on the original, but I bought mine as soon as it came out. I haven't got that one anymore. As soon as it came out. So the problems I've, I experienced of what I'm probably going to expect. So they were the issues I had. But I've never had a ribbon cable fail on me or anything like that. The SD cards I knew to throw away when I got it. I did the same with this, God knows if I needed to, but I don't trust the SD card anyway. And you get no issues. This to me feels like exactly the same, it's just, to me it's a T16 V3 if you like. There's not really any differences apart from this 5 in 1 module which I didn't need. If you don't want that, you can go for the light version. But what I will say is from using this I've had absolutely no problems with the internal module that's inside here. So this antenna is for the R9M which is far shorter than my R9M antennas that I use. Um, but you can see so this is an R9, 
M antenna on the top of here and the other ones you can get really long sticks so to me that wouldn't suffice anyway like I say I don't fly R9M I have four R9M receivers which I never intend to use ever again because it's so much hard work setting them up so that's the big difference uh, and the gimbals are slightly di the gimbals are different on this you'll see from the internal shots if you've seen the internals of a T16 that they are different and these are definitely different these feel to me better I can get more spring tension on I like a lot of spring tension in between my sticks and I like quite a I don't know mid range if you like feeling on there the sound sounds better on this whether it's got a different speaker in I don't know but it does sound better and the overall fit and finish is virtually identical so that's a 60 and that's an 80 and the reason I'm showing you this one is because these have both got carbon fibre fronts and if you look you can see the difference as the gimbals are different these gimbals look more like the gimbals you get in the Pro but again they're not I like the balance strap the balance point you get on here for your strap I don't use the strap myself but I have tried it and it does seem to balance better overall this is a better fit and finish but there's not that much in it so these come now with a foldable handle it was a mod you could do which I have done on these so it comes with a foldable handle which is much nicer than the metal handle and it's USB-C connection inside rather than these have both been converted anyway and as you can see the only thing they've done on this is they put anodized buttons on here and these are the sticks off my Fly Sky Nirvana because it's about the only thing that the Nirvana is fit for taking the sticks off it was a brilliant transmitter no backup absolutely appalling they did that so the market slid with it. These are what everybody's moving to now. And I can remember it even two years ago when the Jumper T8, what it called, came out very cheap looking compared to these things. And you wouldn't, these weren't, they were not going to affect the market. I certainly couldn't fly with a T8 on everything. I certainly wouldn't trust a 500 quid quad on it. But this is what people are seen to move into now. Everybody's moved to, I've been flying, I don't know how long now, 18 months on Jumper. And I've had no issues on these, on these setups. Um, but people now have got the radio link. I can't comment on it, it looks a fantastic transmitter. I can't see what the differences would be, to be fair, from one to the other. The radio mass is slightly cheaper in the UK. But like I say, I bought the jumper because I've had no issues, or no major issues. So, that's my quick update. It's not a proper, proper review. What I can say is, if, you, if you're thinking about either one, watch someone else's review, because I can't comment. I haven't got a radio mass. Now, what I can tell you is I've had good experience with this. And I've had good experience with my jumpers in general, so that's about as much as I can tell you. Sorry that been go out, the camera's been going out of focus throughout the video in at times. Um, I've got a lighting issue today, but I hope it's not affected the video. But as you see, really nice piece of kit. A lot of people already have these. Multi-protocol is obviously the way people are going to go. It seems to be the way. But like I say, I fly more DJI than anything else now. I haven't got that many. I've got about eight or nine the art DJI that I tend to use but to me this is wonderful I also fly planes on this which is what I think it's fantastic for so thanks ever so much for watching and don't forget like share and subscribe